Often we experience resistance to change within our organizations, within our teammates and within the workforce. But what about when our clients are resistant to the change that we're implementing that impacts them? How do you get them on board? Well, by the end of this video, you're gonna be knowledgeable of four effective steps to employ in this type of situation. Steps I've learned working with a major player in FinTech striving to introduce pretty major change to their network of thousands of financial advisors. Let's dive in. In this video, I'm breaking down four steps to help you inspire clients who are resistant to a change that you really need them to embrace. I'm gonna first dive into this concept of seeking first to understand, then break down exactly what you need to be linking between your business and theirs, next, what you should be elevating to them, and finally, what collaboration truly needs to look like as you move through the change. Okay, step one, seek to understand. So what do I mean by that? In order to be able to truly empower your clients to overcome their resistance to change, you have to be aware and informed of what's driving their resistance. What's at the root of it? Is it change fatigue? Is it competing internal business priorities? Is it your own track record with change in this particular client? Is it disbelief in the merit or value of making the change? And this step can be executed by either conducting listening sessions with your clients, whether that be in person or over Zoom calls, or through surveys. The second step, you need to directly link the change to their pain points. You must be able to communicate how your change or changes is gonna help to optimize or elevate the things that they care most about. This requires an understanding of their pain points, what drives them, what motivates them, and what they're incentivized by. You know, this reminds me of a client that we were working with in the FinTech industry. They're a pretty major player, and they were going through a big acquisition, they were going through a rebranding, as well as a significant amount of digital transformation. Now, they supported a network of financial advisors that resided in credit unions all around the nation. And these changes were going to enable these financial advisors to offer their clients, their communities, with the means to build wealth. Now, this is actually an area that credit unions have been really lagging behind the other big banks. Um, around the world. They don't really have the tools, the options to offer their clientele to truly build and grow wealth. But because of this acquisition of my client uh, with another major player in the, in the industry, as well as all the effort that they were putting into digital transformation, they were gonna be able to arm these financial advisors with the tools to be able to offer their clients ability to build wealth. Now, this is something that they truly care about, right? Especially with credit unions, right? It's all about community. It's all about really, really caring for their clients' well-being. And it's something that they had actually been asking for. And so now, the way that they were able to frame the change is to link it directly to that desire of their client to be able to grow and build their wealth still working with their credit union and with their particular financial advisor. So that's something that was directly linked to what they were motivated by and what they could get excited about. Now, the change took a lot of training. Uh, it took a lot of uh, engagement. It took a lot of growth and pain by those financial advisors. But knowing that the end was that they were gonna be able to provide their clients with tools to build wealth, they were becoming more engaged and actually making that change happen. So as best you can, understand how you can link the result of your change that you're striving to implement to that thing that your client is motivated by, that they care about, that they're incentivized to accomplish. And before we dive into step three, if you're digging this content, you wanna see more, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I drop videos like this all the time on a daily basis, uh, seeking to give you value and little sprinkles of entertainment. Uh, so be sure that you click subscribe so you'll be one of the first to get notified. All right, let's dive back in. Step three, elevate the sense of urgency to make the change happen. The best way to do this is to get really clear and then communicate what they're risking by not engaging in the change. 
what they're risking by not making the change a reality. This is where you have the opportunity to talk about the competitive landscape, to talk about what they might be missing, the opportunity they could be missing by not engaging in the change. And this actually brings me right back to that example of that client in the fintech industry. Other credit unions, other financial advisors are beginning to offer wealth building tools. So in order for them to stay relevant, they need to embrace the change and actually have the means to deliver what their clients, what their communities are seeking. So create that sense of urgency and convey, you know what, this is what you're risking by not embracing and engaging in this very important change. The fourth and final step, collaborate on a path forward and reinforce support. Ask yourself, what efforts are you making to collaborate and support them through the change? Oftentimes there's training involved, there's one-on-one -on -one support that you need to be making with your clientele, maybe on-site training to deliver. Make sure that you're understanding what those efforts need to be and executing against them. In that FinTech example, there was a tremendous amount of training that was required in the system, in the technology, in the platform, as well as how to engage with the clients and explain how to use the tools and the power of those tools. So understand and let your clients know you are gonna walk with them hand in hand, step by step, as they're working to embrace and make this change a reality. You are a partner in this journey. Thinking about leading others through change, I've got something else for you completely for free. Uh, it's actually a recording of a keynote snippet that I did for a client going through a lot of change, internal organization wise, as well as dealing with a lot of market volatility. And this is specifically the portion of the keynote where I'm sharing my insights and a bit of our research at Change Enthusiasm Global on how to help others grow and embrace change, especially the type of change that can be frustrating and really challenging. Now, this of course is a keynote message that clients pay me to do all around the world, but today it's yours for free. All you gotta do is click on the link below. I wanna make sure that you have the tools, the data, the insights to empower and fuel your growth and the growth of those around you when leading through big change. I'm Cassandra Worthy, and until we meet again, keep growing, keep rocking.